Hello, Monsters of Man here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Immortal Empires, part 8 of my Morga the Shadow Gave campaign, where Balthazar is in our way. You can't stand in the way of progress or knocking shit down. That's mostly what we're doing. The enemy army is mostly made up of. There's, got, there's quite a few great swords, actually. Quite a few great swords. That's okay, though. We're just going to charge in. Here comes Gerald Bob, or Bob Gerald, I can't remember. Chopping left and right, killing quite a few people already. Gave that guy a bit of a scare. That's, that counts. Blackhorn's Ravagers charging in, backed up by more gore, but Balthazar is shoring up the army with his magical might. Meanwhile, we've got Gerald Bob, or Bob Gerald, I can't remember which one, is coming in from the flank, summoning in some Psygores. Ooh, nice hit. The Centigores mopping up a unit of Empire Knights in the rear, and they're going to come round and yeah, mostly hit the guys. Aim, or at least try and chuck the boulders in the right direction. Going to try and uh, lock down some of these missile units while we kick. God, that Balthazar's doing so much damage. Oh no, this is going to be carnage. Oh, that went right in the, that went in the entirely the right direction, knocking out at least two units not helped by the Cygors. Guys! For the love of God, Balthazar racking up lots of kills now. Doing so much damage. But you know, Gores, Gores are ten a penny. Our Minotaurs, on the other hand, will be murdering shit left, right, and centre and be taking no damage from those spells. Well, at least not not a lot of damage. Kels Warhounds and the Centigors now moving in to wipe out the Free Company Militia and the handguns. So the enemy army is mostly in route now, being chased down by our vengeful warriors. Oh, so much jam. And a fair few gore died. And slightly more now. But, I mean, the thing is, we've got plenty more where they came from. Like, plenty more. Yes, some gore died, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing for them to make. Uh, Balthazar did manage to almost get 300 kills, so good work there, Balthazar. Shame he couldn't get a couple of thousand extra. So, wait, was I going to take that one? Was I going to take that? Can't remember. Um, I think I was, wasn't I? I think I had a plan. Okay, no problem. We'll resettle it. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just head back over here, just in case. Gerald Bob. You've got Bob Gerald, just on the off chance that uh, someone turns up. Now, Gerald Bob, you, you've you got regeneration, plus you've got the old uh, drunken bravado. Bit of, bit of extra hit points there, so I, I think I'm going to turn you into a bit of a melee monster. Meanwhile, Bob Gerald is going to get magical reserves. I would like to get Arcane Conduit. That would be quite nice. I'd like to get some more Bray Shamans, to be honest. We could use a Bray Shaman in this army. Oh, we got we got quite a lot of dread, actually, haven't we? So let's grab that one. I'm tempted to save, but I think, I think now is the time. I think now is the time. So we'll get some Bray Shamans, get some Gorbals, get another army as well. We should probably do that, shouldn't we? So let's go. I'm, I quite like the Great Bray Shamans. So we're going to go with... Uh, no, because he's only level one. So, sorry, never you. Oh, Ambush Success Chance. Abruku the Hornbreaker. He breaks the horn. He says, bop, no be horny. That's what he says. Fair play. So let's... Right. Distorted Reality. Yes. Absolutely. And we'll get Traitor Kin, because I quite like that. Bestial Surge, Bray, Scream, Evasion. 
Then we'll get Savage Dominion and Magical Reserve because then, of course, we can summon those lovely... That's better. Then we can summon those lovely whatchamacallits. You know them. What, what are we talking about? Hang on. I had it there for a second. It's gone. I have... I've got... I've got a lovely glass of... Uh, well, there was ice in it. It's not less ice in it now. Um, black... Blackberry and raspberry gin with a, a lemon tonic. And uh, it's very nice. So I've been drinking. This is my second. And as such, thinking's hard. Uh, thinking was hard in the heat. And now thinking's hard because of the heat and the alcohol. <laughs> so <laughs> strap in, everyone. It's going to be a wild ride. Uh, so, all right, we'll grab those. Yeah, we'll grab some Chaos Spawn. Why not? When in doubt. Right. Why did I get him there rather than down here? Can someone answer me that question? Why did I not get him down here where it would make flipping sense to get him? Hmm? Hmm? <sighs> right. Never mind. Never. All right. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it. All right? You've, you, you realize you've made a mistake. That's fair enough. But. You know, we learn from those, don't we? We learn. So, let's get some more money. Now we've got three big ones. So, I now have a lot. So, what can I do with this money? Well, obviously get a blind eye of seeing. That's an obvious one. Then, we're going to... Now. What? What do you have? You have Glittering Scales, which I quite like, because I like the idea of you debuffing everyone around you. You don't have a decent weapon, though. Now, we could buy you a Felax of the Drakwald, which would make you quite killy. It's only 3k. I mean, it's basically a no-brainer. Basically a no-brainer. Because, you know, 15% weapon strength, 10 melee attack. That's made your melee attack 101. You're not really a melee character, but you're close. You're oh so close. We get Banquet of Flesh. Mmm, love a roast. Do we do that? Mm, yeah, I guess we do. Guess we do. All right, we're going in that direction then, so that's more speed and more charge bonus. I mean, your speed isn't great. It's only 45, uh, which is less than the Chaos Spawn, so you can't even keep up with them. Gary, you're going to get something like that. And then, do we have anyone else to move? I don't think we do. Oh, we need to upgrade Gesundheit, don't we? So, we need the Shamanic Challenges. Yes, we also need the Winds of Malady. Let's get that going on. Perfect. And then I think we'll head towards Nullen, because that's basically our next target. Mm, winds of Pain. All right. Let's go take Nullen. Doesn't look like that's going to be any kind of competition. Nope, Luton Rays. Okay, what else we got here? So, Flensburg's dead. Piffledorf is still there. We need to take Mikdal von Gulbrook. So, I guess as long, if we take if we take Piffledorf. Uh, right. A bru That's a terrible name. It's a bloody ter- All right. Gotta be honest, I'm not that invested in that army. So, a few Ungor dies. Who cares? Let's get a Manticore as well. So, did you level up? You did not. Sad. Right, what was I going to call... Right, yeah, I know, I know, I know what I was going to do. Uh, no, come here. Arnold. The horny... Ho the, the horny... Bopper. There we go. If you think you're horny, he's going to bop you. You better ben not... Someone had the horn of the first beast, didn't they? Yeah, Horn of the Foot. So, you know, if those guys ever meet up, there's going to be a bopping because I'm not going to be happy about that horn. Give you a blind eye of seeing. What else can we give you? Stand Discipline. Yeah, Gift of Chaos. Sure. Scarecrow Banner. Best banner in the game. Horde Growth. Why not? 
Has stone keeper. Oh, more, more, more spawn. More chaos spawn. We'll grab that. Okay, so then we can move down, deal with that. Do we need to... We, we do. I also need to trash Karag Dromar, but... Okay, how... Bob Gerald, your army's still... Still not in the best... It's still not in the best place, is it? Now, we can destroy Schwartz half in the moot. So let's hop over here. So we can do that while Bob Gerald heals up. But we can get the whole of Beast Filth. Lovely. Every house should have one. I'm going to upgrade these as well because I've got the money to. I probably could get another army, but that just seems like too many armies to worry about. Do I want any items? I feel like... Right. Let's let's have a look. Let's just take... Take... Take stock. Okay, take stock. So, Bob Gerald, you have a pelt of... Right. Let's give you mutated Gorgon Heights. Let's do that. Right, so that's looking a little bit better. I, you know what, I don't mind the Sundering attacks because not many of our units have that. Not many of them. Um, we can get the Spawn Wrangler there and an Ungor Whelp for more Bestial Rage, apparently whipping the little... Little whelp is is how our beastmen get off, and if that's that's what helps, then you know all the more power to you. Hi, Vlad. Let me guess. You want a peace treaty? Yes. No. No. There's no. I'm coming for you, Vlad. It's not that I even like. I feel like I'm more of a force of nature with the beastmen. It's not like I want to kill Vlad. I'm very much like you're just in my way. I don't really care, but I guess I'll join in. Alright, so we can get the cost of skill, which is Ungor and Chaos. Bleh. Beastly Inclination, which is 10% for melee infantry and melee attack. Okay. I guess we'll go for Beastly Inclination. I think Vlad's just desperately trying to survive at this point. It looks like he's desperately he's heading for Haverheim to see if he can grab that before I wipe him out. We'll go and deal with Piffledorf. Piffledorf has got Plague. You can scooch down here. We're going to do a little bit of raiding. Just Wow, that's actually a lot of money. That's a lot of cash. Okay, so we need to deal with Karag Dromar, so we're going to send Bob Gerald to deal with that. Gerald Bob is going to just encamp here to heal up for a turn. We could actually go f mm, now. How much? So, what we could do... I'm going to get more... You know what? Gorble and, and Bray Shaman. Because I feel like we could use those in this army. Can we get them? Yes, we can. Oh, we, we've actually got war gores. Holy balls. Colour me surprised. Okay, so we can get a, a cunning Bray Shaman. And he's, he's beasts. That's quite nice. I think we're going to get... Oh, Nurgle's Foul Stink is quite good. But cunning. Ronald. Ronald. Ronald's the McFleshy. Muc okay, that doesn't fit. The McFlesh Eater. Perfect. Ronald the McFlesh Eater. He's French. <laughs> so we're going to get Wild Heart. Amber Spear, best one in the game, of course. Uh, let's go with Curse of Anra here. We're going to get yep, all that kind of good stuff. Yep, good, good, all good. Oh, and a Tusk Draw Chariot. Why not? Absolutely. Why not? Okay, what else we got? So we can get a war gore, which I think, yes, we're going to do that. In fact, let's get a gorble first. So we get weapon disciplined. That's quite nice. So let's get... Let's get... Harry Blood Feasts. He's obviously going to get the Unrelenting Warherd, Blade Master, Gore Tusk, Snarled Hide, Deadly Blade, Primal Instinct, Foe Seeker, and then Wingmaker. 
And then finally, we're going to get a war court. Now, I'm going to go with... I think a Goros Bloodclaw. Or should I say... Gary Bloodclaw. So... We can give Frenzy for Chaos Warhounds Razor... No, that's okay. Vanguard deployment for Bestigors. That's quite nice. So I think we're going to go... That... I'm also going to go Will of the Dark Gods. He's going to be a many-armed fiend. We could replenish troops, which, yes. Then let's do something like that. Fine. What can you be equipped with? So Pelt of the Shadow Gave is fine. Have a Filth Mace. Have a Dawnstone. Have a Potion of Healing. Have a bunch of random gump. Perfect. You know what we you know what we want is like some well you know what I'm gonna get one of those. I'm gonna get you know, let's just why not you know, it's, it's putting money into the economy, isn't it, really? When you think when you think about it, it's putting money into the economy. So let's do that. We're gonna get drunken bravado, let's get a berserker sword there. I don't, I'm gonna give you a I don't want to do that. No, I'm going to give you Gambler's Armor. Potion of Toughness. Uh, now, we're going to give Rold. Now, you can't get Distorted Reality. So, if I give you the Cloak of Unreality, then that's just good, right? And then I can give you the Blind Eye of Seeing. And you can get some more Winds of Magic and shit. And we can, we can dump you in that army. Just get rid of some, like... Bog standard, I don't know, gores or something. Like these gore herds. Maybe the shielded ones. Who needs shields? What kind of gore carries shields? One who is afraid of being sent into a meat grinder. And that's not the kind of gore I want in my army. I want the kind that is unintelligent enough to realise he's being sent into a meat grinder. That's what I want. You know what? That's the thing. That might be the first time I've ever actually been detected. Oh, because... Vlad blundered into us, that's why. That's why. Right, I'm going to get rid of you two. And I'm going to merge you. No, 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 just get in the army. That's it, everyone join in. Perfect. Big group hug. Now kill Vlad. Put that on you for no reason. For no particular reason. Uh, let's raise in advance, because growth, I guess. And then do a little encamp. Right, now I think there's rats. In fact, there's almost certainly rats here. What a surprise, there's rats. What a shocker. I don't need my allies. I can do this by myself. Because there's, there's literally no one home. Literally no one home, so we can just squash them. Get the presence of Morslib. Okay, how are we doing here? So we've got 24. That's not bad. Could be better. But to be honest, it wasn't the best blood grounds. And, you know, you have to make do with what you got. This looks like it's just going to be an easy win. Yeah, there we go. No resistance whatsoever. Smush that banner of eternal flame. We've got the metal storm for Morgus. So that's more armor for all of our chaos spawns. So they now have 16 armor rather than 10. Which actually is is quite useful. And there's nothing left down here. We have we've wrecked the entire place. So Bosch. 36 marks of ruination. Not the most marks of ruination we could have got, but I just love the fact that now we've got this big swath of territory in the south of the Empire, which is just uninhabitable. Uninhabitable chaos carnage oh makes you proud to be a beast man so i'm thinking we maybe go down and rough up the the dwarves because that looks like they've got you know a nice if we take kazakarak look at all these lovely um, you know plus we then get to beat up some dwarves which i'm sure is going to be fun so that's i mean we've got the money so we may as well just upgrade some stuff do some of that 
do some of that. What we got going on over here? We could get that one. Yes. Oh, we can upgrade to that to get Chaos Spawn. Perfect. Do we need anything else? Can you get in here? What? What do you... You can upgrade. Yes, you can upgrade. Have an upgrade. No one can be... Oh, look at all the Chaos Spawn I can get. And then just stuff. Just a horde of Chaos Spawn to follow Morgar around. Not to mention all of the Cygors that we can summon. You know, wouldn't want to mention them. We're going to get melee defense because I feel like Morgar is, is someone you just stick into melee combat and then everyone around him just slowly dies. So the longer he can hold out, the better. Could do the war. Do we have a war gore? I mean, I don't know if I. Do I need a war? Probably don't need a war gore, do I? What I do need is probably more Jabba Slides. Let's be honest here. If I could, if I could do with anything, more Jabba Slides. So I think our next next target is going to be Kazakarak because it's there, and why not? Uh, Gerald Bob. Do you want Mage Hunter? We could give you some cycles. Yeah, I'm alright. Wait. Which one are you? Oh, you're that one. Uh, okay, let's get hatred of... Wait. Wait, changing my mind. Unrelenting savagery. So we could... You know what? I'm going to go with this, because you're kind of like a Minotaur heavy force. That's kind of what we... I feel like Minotaurs and Bestigors is where you're going. So let's let's head in that direction. Throg? What the hell are you doing over there? I mean, as long as you have to fight your way through... Mind you, I guess... <laughs> I guess the... I guess the... Well, you know what? The Skaven actually don't have to worry about Chaos Corruption, do they? Because the only corruption that bothers them is their own. And so if there's more Chaos Corruption, it's keeping the Skaven Corruption down, which means their public order actually isn't too bad. Faction minus 12. Yes, that would make sense. But I, I, I think the, the main issue for them is going to be that, obviously, if they catch Plague, it's going to be reducing the garrison, which is going to make their cities easier to take. But do I actually care about that? Not really. It's not, not really that invested. Hello, Vlad? What are you doing down there, little guy? Hey, buddy? What you, what you doing? What you doing down there? Little fella, was I spotted? Or did I not go into an ambush stance? Or encampment stance, or whatever it is. I've right, lost all our sound. Never mind. Mission aborted. So we need to assassinate that guy. Don't really care. Not really that invested. Right, we've bopped them, which means our next bopping is right over here. Let's hop over there. So, right. So we're going to send Bob, Gerald, and Gerald Bob to Kazakarak. Where are we going to send... Morga. I mean, it makes sense to maybe go to Athel Aren, doesn't it? If you think about it, I mean, Morga really hates the Wood Elves. Or at least just wants to corrupt them. I don't know if he actually hates them or whether he's just kind of like, ah, oh, it'd be fun to to kill all the Wood Elves, wouldn't it? Oh, Sylvania's dead. Yeah, well, I'm not massively surprised. Have you guys got plague? Eh, by the looks of it. By the bubbling green skulls. I would say yes. Krugenheim, also a little bit plagued. Wait, it's maybe this clan Ferric. Maybe. I mean, I, I could go and wipe them out, but do I actually care that they're there? Not really, no. I don't have to care. So let's get Hatred of Men to beef up your melee attack. Then Ronald McFlesh Eater. I'm going to get sued by McDonald's at this rate. Uh, Gary Bloodclaw, you're going to get a Raised Gore Chariot. And Harry Bloodfeast, you are getting Woundmaker. Okay, so far so good. Could use a little bit more dreads. It's, it's not bad, but we could use more. I'm thinking maybe... Oh, this could be interesting. If we take Karakizor, there's definitely 
nice big chunk we could we could bop there. So I think we have our next target. Looks like some dwarves up in the mountains. It's just about creating nice big areas of denial that are going to annoy all the factions around you. Playing the Beastmen is just being the worst kind of neighbour possible. Oh, lots of construction already done. Perfect. So we'll hop over here. Now, where else do we... So, the Steingarts, Migdal Vongel Barak also needs to... Needs to be bopped. Fortunately, we're already nearby. Hello, lads. Goodbye, lads. Oof. There's not much. We've got a Wand of Jet, but I'm going to be honest. A Wand of Jet... How many Cygors does that summon? Because if it's anything less than one, I'm not interested. You know? Just not interested. We do need to hit Steingart. But, more importantly, we need to kill some dwarfs. Hello, boys. Oh, do you not? I might have some bad fucking news for you. Okay, I was just something like, oh, what if I get jumped by dwarves? But even if we got jumped by dwarves, I think it would have been okay. Now, are the dwarves going to stand and fight? Or are they going to run away with their tails between their legs? I assume dwarves have tails. What do you... I don't even know who you are. No. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. I don't trust you. Plus you're a rat. The, the dwarves have run away. I liked it. Okay, we've got regeneration at right. So now this this is this is what I'm interested in. So does that mean Chaos Spawn have they got right? So they don't get regeneration as well as horrible regeneration. That's a shame, but I kind of understand why. It's not even that big a garrison here, is there? You know what? We're we're going to attack. Oop, didn't mean to under didn't mean to underway you over there, but that's okay. Right, let's kill some dwarves. Time to squash some dwarves. Now what I find interesting is that while the brood mother has a has a hundred and one speed compared to seven, she's not actually moving that much far. You know, I didn't realise that they could actually get iron drakes on the wall, but I guess they it would make sense, wouldn't it? Because you can't get warp fire throws because they're weapon teams. But you can get the Thunderers. Because they're just infantry. So they can actually, like, set fire to shit on the ground. That's really interesting. Hadn't considered that. <laughs> there we go. So we've got reinforcements. Got the Horny Bopper charging towards the other gate, which is entirely undefended. Literally no one there. The Iron Drake seem to be mostly setting fire to themselves. So I'm not 100% sure that's working quite as intended, but uh, that's fine. Gate being clawed at by the Jabba Slides, you can see. Clipping through the door, as is tradition. And the through. Hello, boys. And already you can see they're starting to lose health very rapidly. Even the units on the wall are starting to lose health quite quickly. They're getting hit by the Vile Transmutation Aura. And as their leadership drops, they'll also be hit by the Banner of Madness and the Jabba Slice debuffs as well. So basically, everyone will be having a terrible time. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of reminds me of the thing with the flamethrower. They're just like, no, nope, burn it, burn it. Yeah, there's too many of them, though. It's all very body horror. So our Chaos Spawn rampaging through, straight into the city. Nothing to stop them. There's nothing here that could even slow... Five? I want to say five Jabba Slides, or is it six? I genuinely can't remember. 
Uh, There's nothing here that could slow any any Jabba slice down, to be honest. I mean, the fact that we haven't even been up here, and most of these units are on half half strength already, thanks to the fact that Morga is just nearby. And they're all starting to, like, because their health has dropped so low, they now start dropping dead. So you should start to see just random units just flop over. You can see they're starting to die here. And, of course, Morga is, yeah, the kill's climbing very rapidly now. You're going to start dying? Go on, start dying. Because the health just just plummeting. Haven't been up there, haven't touched them apart from just being... And now they're terrified. I'm not surprised. I know you can just see them start dropping dead one after the other. Oh, it's so much fun. Horny Bopper's forces rampaging through the city. The Jabba Slies are in amongst the last few city defenders. This is just a mop-up operation now. Turns out dwarves are squishy. Who knew? Oh, we're now just... Apparently we're just chilling. With the, just letting the cannons shoot us. Can we, can we deal with the cannons, please, lads? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, the Centicles took a little bit of damage, but they're not great at sieges. That's the only problem. I kind of wish that Total War had a mechanic where you could recruit units and kind of have them in a pool. And then when you came to a battle, you could kind of select the army you wanted to bring. So, like, you, you paid some upkeep for the units that you had sort of, like, stored. But then I guess you just keep the cheap units out. I don't know. I don't know how it would work, but I kind of wish you could... You could recruit more units than your army has, but kind of bring them out when you need them. Because sometimes you need fast-moving units. Most of the time you don't. Re well, like, in sieges, you want infantry and monsters, right? And then in, in field battles, fast-moving units can be really, really useful. That's my thinking, anyway. So we're going to get Dual Wielder, and then we'll get Bellows of the Discordant. Some more weapon strength for our monstrous units, such as the Chaos Spawn. Walker is level 40. Big 4-0. I guess we'll just go more defense. So he's now got 111 melee attack, 74 melee defense, 25 armor. Uh, what's he got? 10% ward save and 10% physical resistance, as well as massive amounts of missile resistance and magic resistance. Plus he's got two types of regeneration. So good luck killing him. Now that means you guys have no home. No, well, I mean, you already have because you kind of ran away, didn't you? Let's be Let's be brutally honest here. You legged it. You took one look at the oncoming horde and you went, I'm out. All right, we're going to move on Steingart because it is the last settlement for... Oh, you've got a lot of archers, haven't you? I mean, it's not, it's not a very strong army. Let's get Days of Wrath. More armor for Minotaurs kind of tempted to... Well, we could go with Cygors. Or Gorgons. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I mean, when in doubt, maybe just go another Jabba Slythe. You know, I wanted to turn that into a fucking Hearthstone. I forgot. Again. Alright, well, at least we're going to get rid of the Giant because we don't need him. And we're going to recruit another Jabba Slice because Jabba Slice are life, Jabba Slice are love. And because you're a gold chevron, I'm not going to merge you. I'm going to let you heal. How do you let a, a Chaos Spawn heal? Good question. Don't know. Probably just wait until the tentacles stop dropping off. Is that good? Is it bad? Not, not sure. Probably doesn't really matter, I guess. More dreads, always good. 
So we've got more 20% dread there. Good. I feel like the dread building's one that you probably want in all your herdstones because even if it gets destroyed, you're going to get a lot of use out of all that additional... I might kill Ekit Claw just because. You do want a trade agreement. I'm going to say no. Uh, oh, you've run away to Fort Sol. Interesting. <laughs> just like, nope, I'm out. I mean, the thing is, we're gonna have to, we're gonna, we're gonna kill Fort Sol anyway, because of this Hearthstone. So, so they're really only postponing the inevitable end. Talking of postponing the inevitable end. There we go. Right, you move over here. You move over here. We will just double check. Yep, perform the ritual. 32 big ones. Right, these these dwarves. You're going to just stand there and die like a good little dwarf. Right, Blessing of Filth is... What does that do again? So horrible. So all of these units have... Well, no, that's not true, is it? Because these guys don't have horrible regeneration. So we could do that. I, I guess we do that. I guess that's fine. Right, Carrot Kern are dead. Not, I'll be honest, a massive surprise considering their previous showing. So now we've got some money, so we can upgrade some bits and pieces. Let's maybe go with that. Oh, yeah, we definitely want that. Uh, Shatterstone, never a bad choice. Let's just smash down. Smash down walls gives you... Gives you more options during sieges, which is always nice. Always nice to have more options, isn't it? Let's go Foe Seeker. What does Harry want? Harry wants Woundmaker. I could spend more money on magical items. But I think I'm probably okay. So let's get more Dread there. And then we're going to have a Carrot. That's a Carrot. That's right. We're going to kick some Stunties in the balls. What building? So we, the only building we don't have is is the giant one, but I don't really need it for Morga. I mean, more chaos corruption is just kind of fun, because <laughs> holy shit! So currently the chaos corruption is going up by seven percent a turn, and um, forty eight from characters and twenty two from buildings and commandments, which is just ridiculous. That is so much chaos corruption. Holy balls! Gary's going to get Deadly Onslaught. That is so, so much Chaos Corruption. Okay, we've got Heads on Spikes. So we are going to head down through Black Fire Pass. And we're going for Kazakarak. And meanwhile, looks like they've moved. They've retaken Piffledorf. How have they done? Oh, because this is in the, the Blood Grounds of that which makes sense yes it's also steingart as well is yep okay so we need to hit piffledorf and fort sol wipe out the who are these guys the golden order yeah we wipe out the golden order if, if we defeat lord fisk we get a forbidden rod so yes there's definitely rats there but i'm guessing this must be the rats we're at war with but i'm not like i i I, I'm, I don't. They haven't attacked, so I'm assuming that they don't have the strength to take the Braystone or the Herdstone even. And as such, they're of little concern. Hello. Unachievable. Little Rudiger. Little Rudiger has turned up. So we'll upgrade that just in case. We've got the money, and we just need to clear out this, and then Bop Kazakarak as we head towards the uh, level eight ruination and the Fall of Man quest battle, but that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.